Hello and welcome to another Flipped Classroom video. In math, we have been learning about different subtraction strategies, so different strategies that we can use to help us solve subtraction number sentences. We spent a lot of time using part-part whole mats with our different tools like counting bears and counters. And this week we've been learning how to use a number line and also how to count back to help us subtract. Well, let's look at these number sentences that I have up on the screen for you. Do you see what these number sentences have in common? How all of them are the same? That's right. All of these number sentences have the number 10 in them. And not only do they have the number 10, 10 is the whole in these number sentences. And that means that we're starting with a whole group of 10, and then we're taking some away from it. Think about the subtraction strategies that we've already learned. How could we solve these number sentences? We could use a part-part whole mat. We could use our number line. Or we could use our counting back strategy. Those are the three strategies that we have learned so far to help us solve subtraction number sentences. Now we are going to look at some ways to solve these number sentences, the number sentences that have 10 as the whole. When I think of the number 10, my brain automatically thinks of a 10 frame because when I because I know when a 10 frame is filled, it makes 10. So I'm going to show this subtraction number sentence 10 minus 6 equals using my 10 frame. I want you to take a couple of seconds and think, how would we use a 10 frame to help us solve this subtraction fact? Well, to get started, I know that 10 is my whole. So I'm going to fill my 10 frame with counters so that I can make 10. When I'm using a 10 frame, I don't even have to count because like I said, I know that when my 10 frame is full, that I will have 10. Okay, so now I have 10 counters representing the 10 in my number sentence. Then it says minus 6, and remember subtraction means take away. So it's 10 take away 6. So now I'm going to take away 6 counters. Count with me. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I'm now left with four counters, one, two, three, four. So my difference would be four. This reminds me of when we used a 10 frame to help us in addition. And we knew that when our 10 frame was full that we had 10. So I'm just going to fill in these empty spaces with my yellow counters, just to refresh my memory of what it looked like when we used it for addition. When we used a 10 frame for addition, we said four red counters plus six yellow counters equal 10. Well, if I think about that, those are the same numbers that I have in my subtraction sentence, just in a different order because I'm not adding right now. I am subtracting. So we are going to use this idea of using a 10 frame and addition to actually help us solve subtraction number sentences when 10 is the whole. When we learned about addition to 10, we learned about the rainbow to 10. Let's see if you remember. We created this rainbow to help us remember the facts that would equal 10. So we have 0 plus 10 equals 10, 1 plus 9 equals 10, 2 plus 8 equals 10, 3 plus 7 equals 10, 4 plus 6 equals 10, and 5 plus 5 equals 10. And of course we have the flip flax as well where we can go backwards and do 10 plus 0 equals 10, and so on. We are going to use these addition facts, these rainbow to 10 facts, to help us solve our subtraction sentences when 10 is the whole. In order to have this way of thinking help us solve these subtraction number sentences, we have to think about related facts. Remember, related facts 
use the same numbers. Okay, so if I'm thinking about that, I want to use the same numbers. So again, if I'm trying to solve 10 minus 6, my brain needs to think of a related addition number sentence that can help me easily find the difference. So remember, if it has to be related, that means it must have a 6 and it must have a 10. So I'm going to go over here and look. Look, here it is. The way to make 10 was with a 6 and a 4. So I'm going to circle that fact to remember it. I could also think of this other fact, which also has a 10 and a 6 to help us solve it. So both of these facts can help us solve this number sentence. If my brain already knows that 4 plus 6 equals 10 or that 6 plus 4 equals 10, then I can easily find out the difference for 10 minus 6. I just have to use the third number in this problem. So I've already used the 10. I've already used the 6, so that leaves the 4. So that shows that 10 minus 6 equals 4. And that's what we figured out on this slide as well. And again, I started with 10 counters on here, and when I took away 6, I was left with 4. So the reverse of that, in addition, would be 4 plus 6 equals 10. See how that works? I can use what my brain already knows to solve these problems quickly. So basically, my brain is just thinking 10 minus 6 equals, okay, so what do I have to put with 6 to make 10? And that's 4, so that gives me a difference of 4. Let's look at another one. It can be kind of tricky. So here I have our rainbow of 10 again to help us remember those facts. And like I said, you may already have these facts memorized. And that is the goal. If you already have them memorized, you'll be able to find out the answers much quicker. If you don't have these rainbow to 10 facts memorized, then you can start using the other strategies that we learned, like the part, part, whole mat, or the number line, or counting back. You can use any strategy you would like to solve subtraction number sentences. This is just a strategy that can help you get the answer quicker if you already have these memorized. So let's look at our new problem. 10 minus 2 equals... Again, I want to find the related rainbow to 10 fact so I can quickly get the answer. So related means it has to have the same numbers. So here I need a 10. Well, all of these have a 10. And the other number is 2. So if I look, here it is. Here's a 10 and here's a 2. Here's another one. Here's a 10. Here's a 2. So I have to figure out if they are related, what number am I missing right here? Can you figure it out? 10 minus 2 equals, you got it, the difference is 8. And again, that's because they are related, so I'm using the same three numbers. I already used 10, I already used 2, so the number that I was missing was 8. So that tells me my difference is 8. Let's try one more together before I have you do it on your own on your homework sheet. So here's my subtraction sentence. 10 minus 7 equals, see if you can find the related addition fact over here that's going to help us solve this problem. You got it. You can use 3 plus 7 equals 10. Or you could use 7 plus 3 equals 10. They're the same problem. That's why I can use both of them. The add-ins are just flipped around. So now let's see if we can figure out the difference. So we have to find the missing number if these facts are related. So if I use this one, it has a 10. I've used that. It has a 7. I've used that. What number haven't I used? 3. So I know that 10 minus 7 equals 3. Good job. We have one more to go. And for this next one, you are going to be writing the answer on your homework sheet. 
and the question says what is the difference? So here's our problem 10 minus 9 equals. See if you can find a related fact over here that is going to help you solve that. You should have eyed up 1 plus 9 equals 10 or 9 plus 1 equals 10. Now since these are related, see if you can find the missing number. That number is going to give you the difference for 10 minus 9. If you're still confused, go back and watch the video again and see if it can help you figure out the difference. Otherwise, write the answer down on your homework sheet and we'll see you tomorrow. Have a good night.